this morning, TV6's Samantha Rivera is checking out something a little bit spooky that's coming up, the Haunted Hayride. How's it looking out there, Samantha? Hey, good morning, Vicki. We're live in Harvey to talk about, like you said, the much anticipated Market Haunted Hayride. It's happening this weekend starting on Thursday from 7.30 to 9.30 p.m. and Friday and Saturday from 7.30 to 11 p.m. It's a tractor-drawn Haunted Hayride that'll take you all throughout the Market County Scare Grounds that'll have different characters jumping out and trying to scare you, one of which might quite possibly maybe make a special appearance later on in the show today. It's $10 for adults, $5 for kids, $25 for a family pass $20 for a fast pass and new this year a kids fast pass for $10. I know I would have loved that as a kid. That'll take you right in front of the line. No waiting required. And in a little bit here we'll talk to some of the directors Andy and James Gorieski to tell us more about what you can expect this weekend. It's, sure, it's definitely something that'll get you excited for Halloween which isn't too far away. Reporting live in Harvey on Samantha Rivera TV 6 News. Sounds like it's going to be a great time. Thank you very much Samantha and hopefully the weather will be holding out nice for them. Let's head over to Weather Center 6 for more. 11 after the hour, let's head out to Harvey this morning. Samantha Rivera going behind the scenes of the haunted hayride. Good morning, Samantha. <laughs> Hey, Vicky. Well, if you can think of every scary movie you've ever seen, Chainsaw Massacre, even Get Out, those are kind of the vibes that I'm getting here <laughs> right now. We're at the home of Andy and James Gorieski. They're the, some of the directors of The Haunted Hayride. Good morning, guys. Good morning. Good morning. How are so, you? Good, good, good. So tell us a little bit about how <laughs> we've got some furry friends out I here do. with us, too. Tell us how this Haunted Hayride first started. Um, How it first started was just a crazy idea that James... Um, Halloween habits, I guess. Um, and it's been, it's turned, it's evolved into this great fundraiser for area youth groups, mm -hmm. but yet keeps our community money here and keeps our people here instead of going away to, you know, Green Bay or somewhere else. It just keeps them here, but it's turned into such a great fundraiser mm -hmm. and team building experience for a lot of youth groups in the area. And you mentioned those youth groups, uh, where are they coming from? They're all from around the Marquette area. I mean, Nagani, we've had some come from Gladstone and Escanaba in the past. Mm -hmm. Munising, Elger County, uh, most of them are Marquette, though. And it's and it's for each. We've had other groups come out and join us, and it's a really good fundraising opportunity for them. Very nice. Mm -hmm. And you mentioned earlier that you get anywhere from the thousands coming everywhere yes. yes we've actually had bus trips come up from Eskin or Green Bay area and Chicago oh, wow, very yeah nice. it's awesome and James you are the scene setter right yeah. so tell us a little bit about what those scenes are gonna look like this year oh well I can't give away what the scenes no. are um, <laughs> what I can do is I can say that this year some of the groups went way above and beyond what they've done before we've got some really elaborate scenes some really cool <laughs> ideas that yeah. every time when we go out there we go wow okay this is getting bigger um, but we've got uh, about 10 to 13 scenes this year, so about the same as we've had before, and it okay. should be a fun route. There's a couple of surprises along the way that uh, might get a couple of scares, I hope. Okay. Um, so it should be a good time. All right, and you mentioned surprises. We might have someone come out in a little bit here. Besides a black cat? <laughs> yes, <laughs> besides these furry friends with us. So make sure to stick around for that. Reporting live in Harvey, I'm Samantha Rivera, TV6 News. All right, thanks, Samantha. And I just want to know, was the cat trained or, I mean, is somebody, because that cat's timing is perfect, <laughs> just so you know. <laughs> they were not prepared for this, no. Okay, well, good cat. <laughs> so, well, they do that, so thank you very much. And I love the, the clever. This weekend, the annual Haunted Hayride is happening in Marquette County. TV6's Samantha Rivera is live in Harvey this morning to tell us more. Good morning again, Samantha. Good morning, Andrew. Like you said, we're live in Harvey to talk more about the Marquette's Haunted Hayride. And this morning with us is again Andy Gorieski, one of the directors for the Hayride. So, Amy, you had mentioned, um, or Amy, Andy, Andy. I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you had mentioned that a lot of the props that you use, you guys had bought, but you get a lot of donations as well, right? We get a lot of donations. We have had such a great outcoming of support from the businesses and other areas here in our community. It's been awesome because I don't think anybody realizes how much really goes into this yeah. there's a lot that goes into this and you know it sounds kind of strange but you know we have caskets yeah and <laughs> things like that that we have to store but you know like these lights extension cords yeah. foggers lots of materials and so 
there are many, many, many businesses throughout Marquette County that support us um, through donation and through sponsorship. So it's awesome. Yeah. It's really great that we have all of those. And we do have to mention our uh, our visitor here. It looks like the Green visitor. Reaper <laughs> yeah, is, is paying a special visit. Um, so along with June, yes, <laughs> another furry friend. So tell us a lot uh, or a little bit about um, the process that goes through planning all this. It is a big process. It's not like hey, let's just throw some. We go. Um, there's a lot that comes down to it, from renting the fairgrounds to making sure that you have all of your liability insurance in place, mm -hmm. um, obtaining your volunteers and making sure that they have liability insurance to cover themselves because everything throughout this whole haunted, ride, haunted hayride is volunteer. Mm -hmm. Everything. All of the groups that are out there scaring you all night, they're all volunteers. James and I that put this all on, it's all volunteers. So we rely on volunteers and honestly, at the end of the day and when the hayride is all done, we probably have upwards of 800 volunteers. Wow. I mean, like when you look at something like the Marquette Senior High School figure skating team, mm -hmm. I mean, there's probably 50 of them. Yeah. The venture crew, there's probably at least, you know, 40 to 50 of them. And then some of our other groups, you know, like the NMU cheerleading team, there's a lot. And then when you look at like the UP Whitetails, mm -hmm. they come out, they have been with us from the very beginning. I rely on them. They are the ones that, that load the people on the trailer and then help them get off. So, you know, when you have insurance for something like this, there's specific requirements that you have to follow. Mm -hmm. And nobody thinks about that. It's not just throw hay on and go. Yeah. There's a lot of things, rules that you have to follow. So we have to make sure that everything is done and everything is prepared. It looks like a very big community effort oh, here. Some black more cat. <laughs> black cat. We have a black cat great, that crossed yes. our path. Yeah, <laughs> this is a great way to, to get ready for Halloween, yes. So we want to remind you again, the tickets are $10 for adults, $5 for kids, uh, $25 for a family pass, $20 for a fast pass, and new this year, $10 for a kids pass. Reporting live in Harvey, I'm Samantha Rivera, TV6 News. Thank you very much, Samantha. Lots of great community work involved in that haunted hayride.